So now let's learn how to do basic operations using SITK. The first thing we do is to load our image with SITK. Remember that from now, after reading the image, we change the orientation using Dicom Orient. Let's press enter and let's see. We only do this as a safety check for the image. The first operation we are going to learn in this section is the shrink operation. To shrink an image using SITK, we're going to use the function SITK.shrink. We pass the SITK image. We pass a shrink factor multiplied by the dimensions of the image and inside a list because this is how it is expected by the function. For this example, we will see the shape before and the shape after. This is to see the difference. We won't use the Explore 3D Array Comparison function as the images don't have the same dimension. We will plot only the transformer version for this example. Good, so now you can notice here that the shape before has this size and the shape after has this size. The result is the half of the original. If you inspect the first axis, it is only up to 96 slices. Also, the quality has been downgraded too. Let's see the result if we try a shrink factor of 3. It is reduced even more as expected. If we inspect the slices, uh, the image has lost more quality after this. So that's it by now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.